mountain, Lord. Faircloth Barnes was born in Rocky Mount on June 22, 1929. By the time he was 14, F.C., as he became known, was playing piano and singing in gospel choir at the Marks Chapel Baptist Church. He was called by God to become a minister and enrolled in the United Christian Church in Goldsboro in 1955. Four years later, F.C. graduated with a Doctorate of Divinity degree. From there, Bishop Barnes founded the Red Bud Holy Church. Around 1979, he met the Reverend Janice Brown while doing a radio show at WSRV in Rocky Mount. Together they recorded, It's Me Again, Lord. The response was so overwhelming, they went to a studio and recorded it. I have a problem. Atlanta International Records heard that song and a 20-year relationship began on the subsidiary label Air Records. In 1984, they recorded the classic Rough Side of the Mountain, which remained number one on the Billboard Gospel Charts for four years. In 1988, though, Sister Janice Brown married and the duo dissolved. By then, they'd recorded six albums together. So next, Bishop Barnes formed the group Company that included his three nieces, Deborah, Wanda, and Lisa Barnes to sing backup. Together, they have recorded eight more albums on the air label. I want to tell you. Bishop Barnes also formed the Sunset Jubilaires and sang lead for many years. But pastoring forced him to leave the group and his brother Haywood took over as lead. Sunset continues to record today and is one of the most popular artists on air with FC's son Luther out front. The Red Bud Holy Church in Rocky Mount was home to Bishop Barnes for many years, and later he led the flock at the St. Paul Holy Church in Maple Hill, North Carolina, the latter of which he served as pastor the rest of his career. Come on, put your hand together. Come on. You ought to be in there. Bishop Barnes and his wife, Adrienne Gaskin Barnes, had four sons and two daughters during their long marriage. And over the course of his 70-year musical career, this singing pastor with the rich, deep voice received the North Carolina Folk Heritage Award in 2000. In 2005, he was inducted into the International Gospel Music Hall of Fame in Detroit. And in 2010, Bishop Barnes was inducted into the American Gospel Quartet Convention Hall of Fame in Birmingham. In addition, he'd been nominated several times for the coveted Stellar and Dove Awards. The Reverend F.C. Faircloth Barnes continued to perform until he was 82. He passed away on July 11, 2011 at the age of 85. I have a free 